Hi everybody. In this video tutorial, I'm gonna discuss about how to fill up or populate select box with previous relational data. In this database, we have two tables category and subcategory. In this category table, we have ID, primary key, and name, category name. And in subcategory, we have ID, primary auto increment, and relation of ID, category ID from category table, and subcategory name. In the drop down, I will show how the subcategory name is coming, being relation from the category table. So for this, why first we need to load category. In our view or HTML, we will load the category. Select name category ID category ID will do loop in here. option option value id name name of category. So we can see this part, what is happening. For dollar i, dollar i, we can count dollar array, dollar i, This is the category. We can see all the category listed here in the select box. Now we will load the subcategory from the category. For this why we need an event here on change. Word subcategory. This dot value. This dot value mean option value when on change. In the JavaScript function, we will pass the option value, selected option value. Then, we will load here the subcategory with the API. Now, subcategory, load subcategory. We will pass the category ID to query the related with category. We need another select box to load subcategory. Subcategory, subcategory ID. In the JavaScript function, we will select the subcategory object. 
subcategory ID and we will do this empty object dot option dot length equal to zero that will make the empty this is the name subcategory name and we are filling up the select box with add method new option text and id two parameters subcategory where category id equal to over request when from the api the request load subcategory is coming we are doing a query and passing product json data to the front end client side where to start from subcategory where category id where to category id drop down this is category this is subcategory category this one id4 category this one 5 id5 and sub category 25 here we are filtering with the category id the category ID we are passing from the API with AJAX all. We are passing the JSON data, we are doing decode and getting the object. In this object, first we add empty and then we are doing looping. We took the name and then we are making option with the add method. New option, text, ID, value, text, value in this format subcategory name and its id so in this way we can make our drop down and fill up this from the relational table thanks for watching this tutorial